Are you wondering what the mass percent of lithium, carbon, and nitrogen would be in lithium cyanide? Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. I'm going to teach it to you in two main steps. First is going to be to find the total mass, and then we're going to find those percentages. I'll create a nice little table to help us out. Bam. So the first step is to write the elements in the compound we see. So we have lithium, carbon, nitrogen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see any subscripts at the bottom of each of the elements, just write in a one because there's assumed to be one. If there was a zero, then what the heck would this even be doing in there, right? So it's a one. So then we're going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. Take a look at the table. Periodic table, that is. Lithium is 6.94 units of math. Car uh, math. Mass. Math. Carbon is going to be 12.01. Nitrogen is going to be 14.01. I can't even speak anymore, but what are you going to do? 6.94. Carbon is 12.01. Nitrogen is 14.01. And then we're going to find the total mass of each element here by multiplying this row on a cross. But obviously, this is very, very simple math here. 12.01. This is going to be 14.01. And bada bing, bada boom. To find the total mass of the compound now, all you simply got to do is just add this column on up. All right? This table provides structure, which helps you solve the problem. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. Now, that's the first step. Next, what I'm going to do is add a column to the table. And we're going to calculate those percentages. Easy as 3.14. Bam. So to find the mass percent of the percent composition of lithium, we're going to take the total mass of this lithium here, 6.94, divided by then the total mass of the entire compound, hence why we had to do that first. And this is a simple percent calculation now. All right, we're going to multiply that by then 100. So it's part over whole times 100. And when you do that on out, the calculation, it works out to be about 21.06%. All right, that's the percent now of lithium inside of lithium cyanide. Next is carbon. Take the total amount of carbon there, 12.01, divided by the total of the entire compound, 32.96. Multiply that by 100, and you get a percentage here of roughly 36, 36.44. All right, percent. And then finishing it on out, right, we got nitrogen down here. We're going to divide that by then the total, 32.96. Don't worry about the units because they would all cancel anyway, so who cares if it's AMU or grams per mole, it doesn't really matter. So this is 42.51. Nice little check would be to add these all together to make sure it adds up to 100. And that's and it does, and this is what I want for you on your next test. All right, a 100. I'd like to help you get there too. That's why we've created thousands of problems. Solve solutions, not only in chemistry here, but also in physics, mathematics, and a whole bunch of other stuff coming. All right, I look forward to helping you with more. Take care.